Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn about multiplication of polynomials. So what is a polynomial? Just a short review. A polynomial is a special kind of algebraic expressions. It is composed of one or more terms. The exponent of the variable or variables here is a non-negative integral exponent. It means that the exponent of a letter is not negative and it's not fraction. Okay, I have here examples of polynomials. So I have 2x squared plus 6. That is a binomial because it is composed of two terms. We have 3x minus 10. That is also a binomial. And I have here, how many terms here? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is just a polynomial. So a, B, a plus b plus c, this is trinomial. So one term, 2, and 3. And this is now, negative 3x is simply a monomial, one term. To multiply polynomials, use distributive property. Apply the product law of exponents. So let's have a review about product law. If we are multiplying the same base, just copy the base and add the exponents. And then combine like terms. When we say like terms, the same variables or letters and the same exponents. So let's have an example. So I have here 2x times 7x squared plus 8x. So I use, I use here parentheses as the multiplication sign. So I have monomial times binomial. So what I'm going to do is first multiply this monomial to the first term. Just multiply the number 2 times 7, that is 14, and apply the product law here x times x, just copy the variable x and add the exponent. Under, so there is 1 plus 2, that is x cubed. So that is equal to 14x cubed. Next, the second term. So 2x times 8x, that is 8 times 2, 16. This is plus, so 16x squared. Under, so there is 1, and there is 1, so add the exponent, that is 2. Now look at this one. Here, they have the same variable x, but different exponent, 3, this one is 2. So, they are not like terms, so as is. That's your final answer. We cannot, uh, we can't combine them. So, let's have another example. So, I have here a binomial times binomial. Now, same thing, you're going to distribute this. First, the first term here, multiply that to the first term of the second binomial. So, let's label that as f, first term to first term. And that is 6, 3 times 2, here, and that is equal to 6, and then x and x, that is x squared, so that is now 6x squared. Next is the first term, and the last term, or we can also call this as outer term, to the outer term. Let's name that as O. Outer, outer. Now, this is now 3 times 4. And this is um, negative. That is negative 12x. And then, next is the inner term. Let's name that inner term. So, that is now 3 times 2. 2x. And the 3 times 2 is 6. Copy x. So, that is now plus 6x, and then we have this another one. Let's have that the last term of the first binomial and the last term also of the second binomial. So we have 3 times negative 4, and that is negative 12. Now, let's check this. If, they have, or if there are some uh, like terms that we can combine. Okay, so we have here the same variable x, and the same exponent, which is 1. Which means, negative 12 plus 6, that is equal to negative 6, and copy the variable x. So, it means, just bring down 6x squared, and that is minus 6x, copy also negative 12. That's the final answer. Now here, you've seen the pattern here. That is what we call the FOIL method. So you can remember, 
First, multiply the first and the first. First term here and the first term, the second binomial. And then the outer term, it means outer. This is also outer term. And there the inner. And then the last. So FOIL method. So that's the final answer, 6x squared minus 6x minus 12. So let's have here a binomial times trinomial. So same thing you're going to do. You're just going to distribute the first term to all the terms in the second factor. So we have 5a times 7a. 5 times 7, that is equal to 35. Then a squared. Next is... 5a times 8a, that is equal to 240 plus 40a squared. And then, 5a times negative 5, that is negative 25a. Next, distribute this one here again. So that is 3 times 7a, that is 21, so plus 21a. And then 3 times 8a, that is positive or plus 24a and then 3 times negative 5 that is equal to negative 15. Then let us check if there are some like terms here. Okay, so we have here the same variable and exponent so that they are like terms. Same thing here. They are also like terms. So we have here 35 plus 40 that is 75a squared. And here we have negative 25 plus 21, that is negative 4. And then negative 4 plus 24, here, and that is equal to 20. So what are we going to do? Different sign. Or different signs, what you're going to do is subtract and copy the sign of a higher number. So that is positive 20a. So plus 20a and then copy minus 15. So that's the final answer. So next here, I have here 3x squared times 5x times negative 3x cubed. So just multiply 3 times 5, that is 15 times negative 3, that is negative 45. And then for x, we have 2 plus 1, 3 plus 3, that is 6. So negative 45 times x to the 6th power, or negative 45 x to the 6th power. Okay, so I have the last one here. This is now a binomial times a trinomial. Do you want to try this? You can pause the video and unpause if you are ready. So you notice here, this is x, y squared. This is x, y. This one, x squared, y. So just do it one by one. So first this one. So that is 15 x cubed, y cubed. Next, here. And that is negative 30x squared, y squared. Next, to the last term, that is positive 25xy squared. Second term, multiply this here. That is 24, 3, 8 times 3. And for x, we have x cubed, y squared. So that is plus 24x cubed, y squared. Next, 8 times negative 6, that is negative 48, x squared, y. And the last one, that is 40, so plus 40, x, y. Now, check, is there any like terms here? Here the exponent is 3. Is there any exponent 3? No, this one, this is 3, but this y is squared, so they are not like terms. Here, x squared, y squared. Here, only y is squared. So, they are not like terms also. Okay, so, 
there are no like terms here, which means that this is our final answer. Okay? So it's quite uh, long, right? But that's what it is. So that's how you're going to multiply polynomials. And thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.